Okay, so to start the build of this dulcimer, it's recommended that we start with the headstock. Now the headstock is some pieces of walnut and has, um, yeah, has a nice shape. It's been well made, um, but there are some tool marks in it. So we're gonna actually begin and just as, uh, to sand this all down. And that's where we're gonna start. We're gonna sand this down and we're gonna start with about 180 to get out some of these tool marks as well as, um, and, and end up with 320. And so I'm not gonna show you that here because that's, that's a, it's a tedious process and you all know how to sand. Um, so let's go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so we've sanded the headstock and now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put some glue down here and inside these slots that are cut here, both sides, glue on that side. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some glue and we're gonna put it on the smooth side of the wedge here. And these wedges are gonna go in here. Good, and we'll leave it there. Okay, so before we go forward, we need to fix the shape of this hourglass um, to the right dimensions. Now, Troy at Cedar Creek uh, Dulcimers in Branson, Missouri says that you could make a template and make a jig and to hold everything in shape. Um, and I would do that if I was gonna be making more than one, but for just a one of, I really don't wanna start building a jig so what we're going to do is we're just going to use the three sticks that is provided, each one having different lengths. We'll put them in the right location to force the shape, the tall one there, small one in the middle, and the medium one in the back. And we'll just use some tape to hold them in place. So we'll start with the one in the middle. Okay, so I tape wasn't working, so I went ahead and, and cut this and, with clamps. And the clamps just have enough pressure to hold the shape. So the next step that we got to do is to glue some strips on. And I'll show you what I'm going to talk about in just a second. Okay, so we need to add some strips to the sides. So what I'm doing here is gluing some thin strips of wood and the inside edge to give me a better gluing surface when I put the tops and the, the soundboard and the bottom of the instrument on. I'm using clothespins here to hold it in place while it dries and that's going to do this on all four sides as we go.
Okay, so it's been some changes since the last time. We've got the top glued on and I've roughed out the sides to close to the shape of my hourglass and we'll come in and later and we'll sand that. We put the inside in and it's all done now. Um, now, Troy on the website says that you can cut this with a knife, um, that it cuts really, really easy. Um, yeah, it does. Not very easy, but it cuts fairly easy. Um, so it's not a big deal. You can do it with a knife. It's a lot of work, though. I think if I were to do it again, I would probably... Um, I would cut the shape close. In fact, that's what I'm going to do on the next one. Um, the reason why I didn't is because I can't get into my workshop. I have a community workshop that I use, but because of COVID, it's it's closed. So I haven't been able to get in there and use the band saws and the drill presses and all the other stuff that they have. So um, what I've done now is we're going to put the backing on. What I've done is is we're going to, we've sanded this flat. And I'm going to sand it a little bit more before I glue. And we're going to glue this down to the back, which is another piece of walnut. So what I've done is I've now now is I've outlined my shape. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the jigsaw that I have, a hand jigsaw, and I'm just going to cut and I'm going to leave about a quarter of an inch from my line all the way around that I can come back down and trim it to shape, but it will keep me from having to do a lot of cutting with with a knife, um which is doable but not that doable. So what I did is I just traced this, oops, sorry. I just traced this shape onto my board and we are gonna go from there, okay? Um, be back.
Okay. All right, so while we were off camera, I went ahead and we got the uh, box made. I'm gonna give an idea to what it kind of looks like. Yeah, this is a nice body with my Morning Glory and Bluebirds uh, sound holes. Um, yeah, so we got the headstock here, All right? And so this kind of finishes this part of the deal. On the next video, what I would like to do is start working on the fretboard. So I have a fretboard here. So we'll go over with all the things associated with the fretboard, including um, putting the frets on it, getting it mounted, um, and then leveling the frets. We'll also probably cover making a bridge, sorry, a bridge and a nut um, out of bone for that. All right. So stay tuned and I'll see you in part two. In the meantime, if you like this content that you've seen, please like and subscribe um, and hit the bell for uh, notifications of future videos. Thank you and until next time. This has been Wayne at Coyote Guitars.